pigeon today with your bare foot. Pretty powerful stuff. Thanks. I don't like losing any part of my lunch. Look, I'd love to stay and talk, Neil, but I have homework and there was no toilet paper in the girls' bathroom. Well, while you fresh it up, maybe I could help you get a head start on that homework. You do that? Wow, that'd be great. Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were gonna go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. What was that all? Peter, you threw the cook off for me? I couldn't take your dream away. Heart attack! From you, buddy. You're the mini stroke! One with the real heart attack! Talent. You heart attack! Deserve the show. Regular stroke! Not me. You're a good friend. That's for Michael Myers. If it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> oh, 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 my. <laughs> All right, somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. Dad? No, 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 nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? I'd probably put them in a tub. You could kill like eight at a time that way. Plus, it softens them up so you can get the bones right out. Joe just had a baby, and I got a baby at home. I got a tub. Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. Now you gotta kill them, too. If we do that, we'll all go to jail. And I'm a cop. Do you know what they do to cops in jail? Hey, man, when you were a cop, did they did they let you use the siren? Yeah, it's part of the job. That's so cool. Hey, hey, when you were a cop, when you were going to a crime scene, did you go chung chung like Law & Order? No, oh, that would be very unprofessional. All right, all right. Oh, hey, check it out, man. When you were a cop, did you ever, you know, use your handcuffs when you were getting kinky with your girl? No, it's city property, so you're not really supposed to take those home. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, hey, by the way, a bunch of us are going to kill you in the shower later. Talk to you about something. I know what you did last night. You do? How could you do something so heinous? Last night, you left your dirty dishes in the sink. It's disgusting. So I did half, and I left the other half for you. Ah, oh, forget it. You'll just do it wrong. I'll wash it myself. Why don't you just go in the other room and relax? I'll call you when breakfast is ready. Okay. Oh, my God, Peter, come look at the newspaper. Janitor, dead. <gasps> what? No! Right here, my college roommate, Jan Itta. She passed away yesterday. Are we really? That's a good idea, Peter. Well, I like helping people out. That's why I was such a good breakup rodeo clown. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. I've been sleeping with your sister. What? Hey now, hey now, over here, over here, over here. Hey now, hey now, over here, over here. Hey now, hey now, over here, over here. <laughs> oh, and now that I'm inside the barrel, he gave you and your sister HPV. Mom, Dad, I've done a lot of thinking, and I've decided I don't want to go into the family business. I want to be a doctor. Hmm. Let's try that on for size. How much disease could a woodchuck doctor cure if a woodchuck doctor could cure disease? Is that sounding right to you? No. Hey, Jimmy? Yeah, Dad? Next time, if you have an idea, run it through the test before you embarrass yourself. I don't know if I'd label myself a drinker. I, I know I like a cold beer after I mow the lawn. <laughs> there were three lies in that sentence. Brian, have you ever heard of Lou Gehrig's disease? <gasps> oh, no. Well, you have Mickey Mantle's disease. Now, the most obvious step would simply be to stop drinking. Or? Well, we do have these pills that may correct the enzyme imbalance in your liver. Yeah, that one. Okay, I'll be in the waiting room barking at the fish in the tank. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks real, right? I put this pair of pants on the front legs of this horse and strapped Joe to the front with his legs tied behind the horse's neck. And then we put Cinnamon's head up the back of Joe's shirt and simply hid the rest of the horse behind this curtain. His breath is very moist, Peter. And to induce movement, I'm going to snap the horse's balls with this dampened kitchen towel. Ah! Oh, my God! Holy crap, he's out of control! Does it look real? Ah! Plan B! Plan B! An important job for you. I want you to take over my Twitter feed and tweet back to my fans. <laughs> See? Like that. You get the gist of what my Twitter is about. Look fake. Yeah, who cares? 
Okay. According to this projection, Stewie's adult height will be five foot one. What? Five foot one? Wow, Dr. Hartman, that's really short. I mean, I suppose it's fine if he's going to die at 14. Is, is there anything on there about that? Well, we learned in medical school that the short ones do go faster because they smell more farts than the rest of us. This is terrible! Second of all... Oh! That hurts! That's right! Silent and terrible! Like the artist! I watch a lot of TV and movies. I am your media-savvy worst nightmare! Now down! On all fours like the rest of them! That's right, we got ways to break your spirit! In fact, you seem like a prime candidate for the chair! <laughs>